Hey guys, it's Missy Wolf, and we are at the last day of CMA Fest, and I'm here with Shane Owens. How are you? I'm doing great. It's been a long wait, but how it exciting. Been. It is. It's been overwhelmingly exciting because not only is it CMA Fest, you have all the Predators fans in town, and we're getting ready for tonight's show, too, and there's just there's the, the attitudes. Everybody's just pumped up and happy and smiling everywhere. Well, I hope after the other night they are because yeah. we need to bounce back, so maybe we'll get right? a win tonight. I know. I know. We're all excited. We're all waiting, but let's talk about your music. What... <laughs> You have had a busy schedule. I've been seeing you all over the place performing at the Opry and at Nashville Palace. I got to see you. I'm so excited I got to see you there. But you've been so super busy. So tell us about what's going on and what do you got going? Well, you know, we've just been so blessed. You know, we're, we're out there sharing our uh, music with everybody, and that's a blessing in itself. But we've got so much to be thankful for. You know, we, I made my Opry debut last month. I've done the Fox and Friends show out in New York and the Hallmark yeah. Channel out in California. And it's, yeah. we've just got a lot of things going on. And in this in this business, you yeah. want to have a lot of things yes. going on because if you don't, <laughs> right, and right. I mean, this beats the alternative. Right, so exactly. We're, just, we're excited. You know why? The, the singles is number 23 on Music Row, so all of it in Alabama. And we're fixing to drop another single. So we're just excited right. to be in the mix. Absolutely. And I know you're going to be promoting it on the radio stations and you're you're heading out to LA, you know, to, is it tonight or tomorrow that you head I'm out? I'm going to fly out to California tonight, do some radio Man. stuff out there and we've got a show out there Friday at Thousand Oaks. So we're looking forward to getting out there and uh, That's great. Believe it or not, there is a lot thousands, millions of people out in California oh, that yeah. love country music. So oh, we yeah. can't wait to get out there and, and see our country music fans out there. Absolutely. And there are and people don't think that California no, that's why we have Stagecoach Festival out there and I'm from California and Country is huge, 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 and it's just growing even bigger everywhere you go because fans have really gotten to, to realize that country music is so different. It's a different atmosphere. The artists are different. They they connect to their fans, and it's just it's amazing, and the fans crave it, and they love it, and they desire, and they want more of it, you know, and it's all around just positive fun, too. Yeah, that's one thing I love about country music. It seems like everybody's one big happy mm -hmm. family. You know, we all, we're all there to help each other, and, right. and, and, and you know, you may see uh, me sitting around with yep. Wade Hayes or Wade Hayes, and we, yep. we may get together and say, hey, man, let's write a song. And everybody's just willing to help one another out. That's what I love about country music. Yeah. And like I say, we're all one big happy family. Yeah, and, and have you noticed that, too, that with, with collaborations or you meet somebody, you talk, hey, you know, I really like this guy. Oh, hey, I know that guy. Let me put you in contact. It's just everywhere we go somebody knows somebody that you want to meet and they make it happen and we've seen those connections happening here within the interviews too like you know there there'll be a band who is a fan of another artist they never got to meet but their interview times are similar and then they get to meet and it's just it's so much fun to watch and um, also other artists younger artists meeting their heroes that are here and you know do you have any moments like that that you can recall and, and I'm sure you've had so many musical heroes you know in this business is there's a lot of amazing country artists but have you had any any of those moments where people have told you like they after a show that you have inspired them and they just want to do what you do absolutely you know that's one of the most uh, gratifying things in this business to see uh, hundreds of people at a show mm -hmm. singing the words of your songs and appreciating your music and coming up to you after the yeah. show and, and saying you've touched me or that was something uh, I've lived or mm -hmm. you know I, I can relate to that song but and, and my you know and um, I've had so much to be thankful for. Randy Travis is my executive producer. Oh, yes. I mean, wow. You wow. don't get no better than Randy. You know, no. you said meeting some of your heroes. He was one of my radio yeah. heroes when I was in high school. Yeah. And for him to appreciate my music now, as well as John Anderson and Ed mm -hmm. C. and a lot of a lot of some of the biggest musicians in Nashville. It's just uh, when that, you have those kind of people believe in the project, right. it makes you strive to be the best you can be. Absolutely. And you know what? And and everybody, you know, when you, when you talk about these heroes, you know, and for a fan who has never met, you know, a country artist or, or they're here, you know, it's really, really, really doable. And it's nice. Everybody is nice. They're all approachable. And when you don't realize that, you know, you think, oh, it's this big, scary thing. But when you get to meet your country hero, you know, another country artist, you realize that they are at your level. No, they. I've never met one country artist who's been you know, above me. They, they bring you right to where they're at and they look at you when they're talking and they just invite you and you're just another human being. And, and it's not like, oh, I'm this big rock star. I'm, you know, yeah. above you. And so it really is. It's just a lot of fans relax a lot more when they get to meet their artists. They, they go into it maybe a little bit nervous, right. but they leave and they're just like, wow, right. that was and the best And that's the way it should experience. be. At the end of the day, we're all human. And, you know, God give me an awesome talent and I don't abuse it. And, uh, you know, that's, I think, in uh, country music, we all were raised with the same tendencies, you know, to respect and love each other and one another. Mm -hmm. and, and that's just what it's all about. All right. Well, 
My gosh, you, you've been doing so well, and I'm so glad to see God's blessings in your life because it really is fabulous for us to watch. And we've been following your journey, and I, I love it. Every time we see your name pop up on a press release or whatever, we just get all excited, and we talk about you all the time. And, of course, we love Martha. I love Martha, too. And um, I know everybody, that's how I met you was through through Martha. But um, And I know uh, you are with Webster, too, right? Yes. yes. And, man, they take care of their artists oh, like crazy. Do. Kelly and Kurt and everybody yes. over there are so wonderful. We've I don't know what I do without them babysitting me <laughs> right right no and everybody here is just a big network of people and it's great and you guys are all amazing and I just I just want to tell you you know thank you so much for coming and taking the time because I know your schedule is super busy is there anything else you want to tell the fans before we go I just want to uh, say thanks to you guys because without you guys we couldn't do what we do and right. I want to say God bless everybody and all our country music fans out there we love you we can't see you wait to see you on the road and thank you so much for the support awesome well you heard him guys check him out on social media and until next time stay tuned